welcome to my DLC talk. By profession, I'm a mechanical engineer, uh, endurance motorcyclist, and a bike and a car racer. So uh, my journey as a biker uh, started at a very young age. I was 14 when I was introduced to the world of biking and bikes. And then after that, there was no looking back. So uh, when I was pursuing my uh, diploma in automobile engineering, that's when uh, I got to know about racing scenario in uh, India. Before that, I was uh, like, I had no knowledge about a uh, racing scenario in India. And a few of my friends, uh, they were going for this uh, drag race that happens in Ambi Valley. Uh, city every year and uh, they asked me to join them and um, they even asked me to uh, take part in the drag race competition and I was like racing it's not meant for girls right so uh, so one of my friend uh, he uh, you know motivated me that uh, being a girl if you can uh, uh, if you can study mechanical and automobile among us then why don't you just take part and compete against uh, us 2016 was the year when I first took part in uh, racing and it was a car drag racing and uh, after that there was no looking behind. In the same year I made it to India's first female bike racing team in the year 2016 which was powered by TVS Racing. In the year 2016 and 17 I continued with my circuit racing and again in 2017 I took part in drag racing. And uh, in that particular year I was titled as uh, fastest female of the event. My inspiration for racing and uh, riding was actually Alicia Abdullah, who is known as India's first female bike and car racer. Uh, she has been racing for past 10-15 uh, years and uh, she's the first female who started racing in India. And uh, she is my inspiration and uh, when I uh, uh, got into India's first female bike racing team, it was actually led by uh, Alicia Abdullah itself. So uh, coming back to my first race, I was having no experience about racing uh, and I never attended any racing event. So I was quite nervous during my first race. And because of that, I actually jump started in my first race. And after that, uh, there were a group of people who were actually my friends and uh, uh, you know, they kind of um, bullied me on social media and uh, I was like broken after that. Uh, but I made sure that next year in the year 2017, I went back to the same track. I competed against the same set of people and I won the race. So I chose a very uh, different path, which most of the females don't go for, which was automobile diploma. And uh, I chose the uh, I chose this course because I wanted to know more about bikes. I wanted to get more into machines. And uh, when I was pursuing my uh, diploma, I was in my uh, last year, and uh, uh, my friends uh, they were very much inspired by the way I used to ride and the way I used to drive. I had no idea about the racing scenario in India, so uh, my friends they introduced me to the field of racing. Uh, they were actually uh, going to attend this. Uh, particular drag race in uh, Ambi Valley and uh, they asked me to join and after a few days they were like uh, okay just just don't join us but go and participate you should go for it and uh, me being a female uh, biker and uh, uh, me being a female biker I had no clue about racing scenario and I was clueless because uh, I just asked them one question that uh, I being a female should I go and take part because uh, if I talk if I talk about uh, drag racing, uh, more than 500 to 600 people take part, and uh, hardly there are one or two females who take part. So my friend just uh, told me one line that uh, that inspired me a lot. Actually, he just told me uh, that if being a female, you can uh, you can study among us. Like I was studying automobile diploma. So why can't you just come and compete against us. So that particular line inspired me a lot. And uh, then I went and took part in that race. Initially, I was only into racing. So for two years, I only uh, did racing, like circuit racing and drag racing. I was never into traveling and uh, adventure riding. Uh, so uh, uh, in the year 2019, I did my first ride, which was to the world's highest motorable pass, which is Khardungla Pass, Leh Ladakh ride. And after that, the thrill and the adventure which I got from that ride, uh, like literally it inspired me to continue more of adventure riding. So I still do racing, but I am now into drag racing. I don't do circuit racing anymore. More of I am into uh, adventure trails and adventure riding. 
So uh, when I did uh, my first uh, ride to Ladakh, I was actually not sure about the ride, but uh, when I completed the ride, that's when I realized that uh, I was able to, you know, uh, release myself from the stress and then I was able to connect myself with the nature and uh, that is a very uh, like different experience you uh, gain out of it. Uh, racing is a different thing. Uh, racing is all about uh, speed and thrill but if I talk about uh, adventure riding it's like you connect with the nature. You, ca you get to know more about the cultures. Uh, if I talk about India rides you can you know when, when you are riding you go from uh, uh, some uh, like you travel from villages and then you go to the interior parts you know you get to know more about the culture and people in india so uh, when i travel to the interiors uh, of india and um, the villages of india uh, there there are times when i come across uh, these local uh, females uh, and uh, when i remove my helmet and my jacket that's when they get to know that there's a female riding a bike with all those gears and uh, big bikes and when they come and talk to me uh, they get very much inspired and um, i just like whenever i have a conversation with them i just tell them that if you want to do something just get out of the house and then you can like follow your dreams like i am doing it i feel very happy when i see people getting inspired by me and follow their dreams if you're planning a international road trip the first thing you need to uh, plan about is what all countries you are planning to go for so if i talk about my journey i uh, i did four countries which was thailand malaysia singapore and sri lanka if you're planning an international ride there are many factors you need to take care at the beginning the very first thing is uh, paperwork and um, nowadays there are many companies which take care of the paperwork thing so you need not worry about that you can just approach them and they'll get the work done and the second thing is bike on which bike you're planning to uh, you know go for the ride and I would suggest that instead of going for a sports bike or a cruiser you can just uh, go for an adventure bike because uh, adventure bikes are very much uh, comfortable when it comes to uh, long rides because you can easily carry your luggage and because adventure bikes are made for all terrains and you can easily ride your journey with ease. So I was done riding bikes, I was done driving all kind of cars and bikes and then uh, one day I got this thought that why not try a heavy vehicle. So I uh, started inquiring about uh, the bus training centers and the truck tra training centers in Mumbai and all I got was rejections because uh, uh, whenever I approached them they used to tell me that we cannot teach a female a bus because it's not meant for females. For two, three years, I just kept on inquiring and finally uh, I got an admission in a public uh, transport in Mumbai. And after completing the training session for 30 days, I got the license and I got the title of Mumbai's first female bus driver. So my main motto was to learn how to drive a bus and a truck and not to get any titles. Uh, but yes, uh, I got the title as uh, Mumbai's first female bus driver. So that was all about my journey from two wheelers to riding a bus and truck, like getting into heavy vehicles. And uh, during this uh, journey, I got recognized and, and I got uh, a lot of titles like I was part of uh, India's first female racing team. And uh, also I was Mumbai's first female circuit bike racer. After that, twice I got uh, uh, the title of fastest female of the event in the drag racing competition in the year 2017 and recently in the year 2000. 2021 December as well and uh, and if I talk about adventure riding I've covered Khardungla Pass I've covered uh, Spiti and these are all the most difficult uh, terrains and trails of India recently I've also achieved a, a title wherein I was titled as India's first person to reach Spiti on an electric two-wheeler so yeah uh, these are all my achievements and I just hope I continue uh, riding and traveling more and also I would like to thank DLC for giving me this uh, platform and uh, connecting with uh, you all uh, thank you so much <laughs>